Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Wolf Eating Podcast. Woo. Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the baby. Big sexy. Welcome back to the uh, post-game show uh, for these Arkansas Razorbacks, man. Welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, man. We're talking about these hogs every day, all day. We ain't going to hold you tonight, man, but we wanted to come on and talk about these hogs. Hey, shout out to our sponsor, man, 3M Electric, uh, for all your electrical needs in Northwest Arkansas. Hey, give them a call. They are SDVOSB, meaning they are reliable and dependable. No job too big or small. Give them a call, 479-408-9865. Let them know your boys on the Woo Pig Podcast sent you. Y'all know me. I'm Oliver O.D. I got somebody else in the building with me tonight. We got the bad little brother in the building, man. Bad little brother, where you at, man? We can't hear you. Deezy. Deezy. What is this guy doing? We don't know what Deezy doing, so we're going to keep the show moving. Uh, there you go. He just fell off. So it's just me tonight. He'll come back in in a minute, man. What happened to our Razorbacks, guys? What happened to us, man? Pittman then rubbed off on the basketball team too, man. I'm upset. How in the world could this happen, man? We had a terrible game. Terrible game. I cannot believe it. Bad little brother, you back with me? I'm back, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um I don't know how to feel, man. Uh that was a tough one, man. But it's your boy. It's the bad little brother, man. Uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in to the Whoop Pig podcast. Huh, where do we start? Where do we, I don't man? Uh hey, let's let's start with this with this box score, man. L Ellis. No, I'm sorry. Tremont Mark. Eddie Kane Jr. led us the way with 21 points. He was 9-15 uh, from the field. L. Ellis had 19 points. He was 5-10 from the from the field, 7-8 from the charity strike. Uh, zero assists, four turnovers. As your point guard, that is terrible. That's terrible. Super trash. You can't have a point guard that has more turnovers than assists. He got no assists. Four turnovers, bro? Crazy. Wild stuff. Where, where, where they do that at? Please tell me. Where you've seen a point guard. Hey, I, y'all didn't believe me when I told you, when I said my one word reaction to L. Ellis, turnover. Mm-hmm. Four, yeah, he, he can score. We, I knew he could score. But the bottom line is, he got four turnovers and no assists. He's not getting his teammates involved. You're not facilitating, my guy. You're not facilitating. It's just, as as a point guard, the ability to get your people going, to get your offense moving, and it's just not there, man. It's uh, I got so many takes for the night, man. I'm going to let you finish the box score before I get into it. Anybody else you want to talk about? Uh, let me see, man. Hey, Trevin Brazil, man, he laid a dud tonight, man. He didn't even show up. Oh, my God. Boy out there shooting air balls. Three for oh. six. One for four from three-point line. Uh, he had nine rebounds and nine points. He didn't show up. Devo. He disappeared. Oh, for four from the three-point line. Let, let me just run through that. Tre- Trevon Brazil, one for four from the three-point line. L. Ellis, two for five. Davenport, oh, for one. Tremont. 0 for 2. De- uh, Devo, 0 for 4. Kela- Kela- Khalif Battle, 1 for 6. Pinion, 0 0 for 1. We shot 17% from the three-point line, bro. 
Se- four like for Latin. 23. That is crazy. Super trash. Oh, and they my. talking about we going to the final four. <sighs> Boy, I hey, mean, man. it was just, it was hard to watch. I'm just like, what is going on? Like, it seemed like after the second or the after halftime, the energy I already just felt like, you know what? It's going to be a bad night. I didn't see no off ball movement. I didn't see any type of camaraderie whatsoever with this team. And I feel like the best way to describe it is y'all ever seen that movie, the lead of league of extraordinary gentlemen. <laughs> y'all know how they got their butts whipped individually to the end of the movie. When they finally learn how to work together. It's like, is that what the season going to be like? We got all of these different individual pieces that do this and do that. And, oh, that look good. Oh, this look good. But nobody is putting it together, man. I didn't see any chemistry. Not even between two people, let alone five on the court. Man. Hey, shout out to Lane New man, for supporting the channel. He says, why, oh, why does this always happen to Arkansas? Why? Man. Shout out to Lane, man. You the sponsor of the Super Chats right now, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. We was in the, we was in the Discord kicking it, man. Hey, and, and we had a great conversation. Lane was in there kicking it with us, man. We was watching the game. If you ain't tapped into the tapped into us on the Discord, man, that's where we go down. That's where it goes down. That's where we watching the games at. So man. it was just terrible, man. We was having a great conversation, man. And he he brought that up. He's like, why does this always happen to Arkansas? Why do teams just get to their give first ever a, SEC win yeah. against the Arkansas team? This is UNC Chattanooga's first ever Greensboro. S. Or, or, I'm, yeah, U, UNC first, Greensboro. Yeah, UNC Greensboro. Excuse me. First ever win against the SEC, and it's always the Hogs. Whether it's football, basketball, anything that matter, we gonna let you in. That's embarrassing, dog. It, it's just. Uh, mm. It breaks my heart, man, because, you know, I was telling them this in the Discord, man. Again, get in that Discord, man. We really talk about it. But for me, I didn't get to see the wins. I didn't get to see the championship. I didn't get to see Nolan. I didn't get to see none of that. So this is what I'm used to, sad to say. I mean, let me know in the comments if any other young people are with me. It's just it's tough out here, dog. It's, it's hard for somebody like me to have hope. It's hard for somebody that like me to sit here and think like, you know, the football team is friends with these guys. You think they wouldn't sit here watching this and now they got to go play that game tomorrow? It's just, uh, it's a culture. It's it's nasty. Man, I'm going to read. He said, Sean says, it's a weekly disappointment being a Hall fan. They ruined my weekend. Eight out of 11 weeks now. This is zero fun. I think I'm going to retire uh, from caring, caring sooner than later. Hey, man. Sean, we with you, man. We suffering with you, man. We is tired of losing, bro. We were sitting here saying, hey, it's basketball season. It's basketball season. At least we got that. Don't look like we got that right now. Hey. Man. Rip this my is... heart out of my chest tonight, man. Four for 23 from the three. I mean, I. what do you do when your lottery pick can't do nothing against some nobodies? Man, he ain't no lottery pick. He can jump and he can dunk. He ain't no lottery pick. But man, let, let's 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 take a look. Let's let's take a step back, man. Let me read my super chat. Then I'm gonna take a step back. Man, we got Boss Hog in the building, man. Boss Hog is supporting the channel. Shout out, Boss. Super trash. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. Where my button at? There it is. Must will sit L. Ellis down for a minute because his turnovers in defense is super trash. Super trash. Absolutely, man. I've been saying it. I told y'all he was the turnover king. If if he didn't have 19 points tonight, he would have been on my uh on my actually my thumbnail. Because that was just terrible, bro. Ter I mean. I'm, I'm hey, just man. I'm just upset, man. But let, let's talk about th- these these boys, man. I'm a I don't want to talk about Eric Musselman, bro. Eric Musselman offense is man, it's 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 borderline dumpster juice, bro. 
His, his the spacing of the players is trash. And I said this during the stream, man. It's that it's the off ball movement. It seemed like like we passed the ball to the guy who got the rock, and then everybody else is just standing around waiting for the rebound. What kind of offense is that, man? It's a it's an offense that you're relying on athleticism and the crowd and the name of your team to win. And these boys, UNC Charlotte, I'm sorry, UNC Greensboro came to play. They came to play. They didn't come for no games. Them boys was moving the ball. They were shooting the ball. I hey, whoever their coach is, I love the way uh Mike, Mike Jones, I can't I can't forget that name. Mike Jones, bro, he his he well, he you could tell those those guys was well coached. They was cutting to the to the bucket. They was getting easy shots. They running a 3-4 a, a defense. A 3-4. They running a 3-2 defense. They daring the Hogs to shoot the ball. They was like, we know you can't do nothing. You, you ain't really got nothing that can beat us. We gonna have, we gonna run this zone, and you gotta shoot us out this zone. And they couldn't do it. We say we got better shooters, but do we really? 17% from the field? And and you tell me we we you tell me we better than we were last year? Man, we got no height. We got no shooters. Battle out there just just jacking for beats. He don't see nobody else on the court. He just shooting. He just shooting, man. It, it, this was this was terrible, man. This was terrible. Yeah, yeah, my um, bad, man. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, man, it's it's just one of them nights, man. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just one of them years. I hope not. I pray that you know, you know. I, I, I really hope that this is one of those games that we learn a lot from, and we never see nothing close to this again. Man, hey, hey, shout out to Matt, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. He said, "How." He said, football pain got Hogs fans traumatized. Hogs came out flat, but there is no reason to think Musk won't get things straight before March. I agree with you, Matt. I agree. But, man, we can't be losing to these cupcakes at home, bro. This is this is nah. messing with our seating in the NCAA tournament. And if we get there, because if we play like this, Coming out expecting dudes to just lay down for us, bro. That ain't gonna happen. Gone are the days of these mid-major teams laying down. They not mm -hmm. laying down, bro. They not. So, hey, Bud Nick said, "Who? Mike Jones." <laughs> <laughs> Man, and I just want to say, I, I really love that last super chat because we are traumatized. Remember when it was the BYU game earlier in football and we was like, all right, ain't no way we're going to play like this for the rest of the season. No, ain't no way we just lost like this at home to a non-conference team. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Mm -hmm. And now here we go again. Here we go again. Matter of fact, I'm going to make sure uh, uh, OD get that sound for the next show. Here we go again. Because that's <laughs> crazy, man. Like, mm. I'm traumatized and I, and I, I hope that you know, definitely it's in must we trust. So, you know, we might seem like we overreacting a little bit. But then again, we at home, people. That's the even worst part on top of all of the badness. We at home and we just can't drop games like this. Not like yeah. that. Not not um, never getting the lead. Like, we never got the lead back. Do y'all realize that? Once they got on top, they stayed on top. And that's the most concerning part. We're, our offense, I never question this team's offense. Like, did any of y'all question this team's offense going into this season or from the first couple of showings that y'all seen? No. Nobody in these comments can tell me that they would have ever thought we would have had a problem scoring the ball against this team. So that's concerning, man. This concern is real. Man, I've been I've been saying I've been saying for a minute though that um I, and I'm gonna highlight these two comments and it's gonna bring it home for me. Um uh, what is this? Me, myself, and a I, whatever his name is. <laughs> Difference between a team of returners and a collection of portal stompovers. No chemistry. 
None. They got no chemistry. Mm -hmm. And this is what I've been saying about Musselman. He goes, he gets rid of his players, and then he bring in a whole new crop of players. And now guess what? They got to spend the first 10, 15 games learning how each other play. I, I don't mm -hmm. like this portal system. Man, you got to build your guys up, man. And I understand that cats don't stay around long. But, man, you got to get the right pieces in place to play ball if you're going to be doing this. And I'm going to highlight this, this comment from Boss Hall. No inside game at all. Zero. And I've been saying they have no bigs. They got, ba they got Bambi legs and they got twinkle toes. And Tremont just, I mean, uh, Brazil just didn't show up tonight. He just didn't play. He out there shooting air balls. He played with no energy. I mean, maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe he, he just didn't feel it. He didn't feel good tonight. But it was just bad, man. It was just bad. You know, you just made me think of something, OD. Why didn't we put in Bacchiotomy? That's our inside points guy. Maybe Where was Bacchiotomy hurt. at? Maybe his back hurt. <laughs> he need a Bacchiotomy, man. <laughs> hey, that's a, maybe his back is hurting. Hey, for those who don't know, back out of me is Jalen Graham, man. We where was he tonight? Um, they should have. I don't know. And that was another thing too. You know, I understand Mus trying to slowly squeeze that rotation in as we get closer into the season. He playing less and less guys every night. And I don't know if we done with the um, scouting out process. I think maybe we need a couple more games to figure out who is going to do what on this team because that was not pretty, man. It just wasn't. It was no chemistry whatsoever. Nobody jailed together. Like, I, and then if, this this is one point that I want to bring in, man, real fast. For a team with so much veteran guard play, you would think that we would be able to overcome a deficit like this. That's one good thing about having a veteran guard team. Because though when you got a young team, they don't really know how to fight back. They don't really know how to make the necessary um plays in the clutch in order to come back from a, a deficit like this so for us to have these proven guys from other places come in and still not figure out a way to win this or get this back in a controllable league that's a little it's a little scary to me i'm sorry mm. i agree with that man somebody asked about the attendance in the uh bunk i have no idea what the attendance was tonight uh, i didn't hear him say it i didn't look it up I so want to say sure. they said it was sold out, but I hope not. No, I wouldn't. That couldn't have been no sold out game. Uh, <laughs> was uh, Pitt in the house? He might have been. Had to he, be. may, he may have been. We won't win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. That hurt. Absolutely, man. Uh, he need to get aggressive on offense, man. He need to go down on the block and demand the ball because once he – if you look at his game on the block, he actually got a good game. But he looked like he was scared against that dude that was down on the block uh, that was out there killing him. And, and where was this defense that they that they talk about that, oh, they're going to be great on defense? Man, that little dude was wearing us out, man. Man. He was, he was busting their head, bro. He hit them boys for 23 oh. points, man. That 23, man. Super trash. Musman offense. Super trash. I'm sorry. I don't like his offense, man. The guy's all just bunched up to get. Nah, I ain't going to talk about Musman. Musman do his thing, man. But, man, we need he to, gonna have to get these boys some help. He going to have to. He gonna, I don't know. He got to He got to find a way to get these boys to run a better offense, man. They just ain't looking. They look, they look all over the place, bro. They look all over the place. It was no goal offensively. Like, it just seemed like, let's try to get a bucket. It was one point at the end of the game where I could tell they was trying to draw fouls and stuff like that, but you need a better game plan in that, man. That's it. That's it. Draw a foul. Everybody try to take it in. Like, that's nasty. That was nasty offensive basketball. Mm. And first half, defensively, was ugly. They went 9-24 from the three-point line, 37%. They shot 48% from the field. We shot 43%. Only thing that kept us in the game, man, was free throws. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm going to tell you another thing that they were doing a lot of, filing. It was a lot of fouls in this game. Mm -hmm. They out there just filing. Ain't nobody, they just reaching. 
Battle just filing for no reason. He got his cookies. He got his cookie snatched a couple of times. Ellis got his cookie snatched. Hey man, they got outplayed. Hey, they got outplayed. Man, they out. They out rebounded us. They out assisted us. They out. They got more steals than us. I mean, that's against this type of team. That's just unacceptable. There's no other way to put it. Man, let's uh, we gonna highlight some comments, man. We gonna we gonna get it out the mud in the comments tonight. We're going to be, if y'all got some, anything to say, man, put them in the comments. We're going to be talking about all your comments. We, won't, we ain't going to bring nobody up tonight just because I ain't even supposed to be on here tonight, be honest with you. This is supposed to be the night my, uh, I spend with my wife because I be on this podcast stuff all the time. She's like, I give you six days, but Friday is mine. I'm breaking rules tonight. I got to get up out of here before she come down here. Anyway, put your comments in. We're going to kick it. We're going to kick it tonight, man. Oh my Matt gosh. said, I blame Pittman in the O line for the loss tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Super <laughs> train. <laughs> I agree. They all taking shots at Pittman, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, this is what happens when everybody tries to be Steph Curry. Sometimes when the three ain't raining, then you have to go inside. But they too scared to do that. But Tonka, who they got inside? They ain't got there nobody. was no pick and roll game. None. None. I mean, if anything, you should be able to put uh, Trevon uh, Brazil in the pick and roll for some easy alley oop action. They couldn't do it, so they they mm-hmm. really ain't got no inside presence. And I'm telling you, it's gonna come back to Hunters. That's why I really wanted Grant Nelson. I really wanted. We needed Grant Nelson. We needed a big guy, but he chose Alabama. We needed a big dude. We needed a big guy, but hey, it is what it is. I do not look forward to that game. Do you, uh, Bunk says, do you all have the same program prior post transfer portal? I myself find it hard to get behind a bunch of immigrants. Hey, mm. hey, That's Bunk, I feel point. you, bro. I feel you. I, I don't like this. I don't like this system of bringing players in. I, I don't I don't like I, I don't have a connection with them. I mean, even though I don't know none of these guys, I learn their game and then I start to give them nicknames and then they just gone. And I'm just like, I got to find some whole new guys to root for. And I just like don't like it. It's, it's, it's horrible. So I'm with you on that bump. I got a super chat. I got to read that real quick. Let me get it in. Sean Jack says. From what I have seen this year is we play to the level of our competition and we get caught up and we got caught up tonight with bad play from the whole team. Man. Hey, man. Didn't we say that same thing about the football team? Didn't we say that same thing about the football team this year? I, I, hey, all right. I, I ain't, I ain't going to keep bringing up the football boys because this is a, this a, this a hoops hog show, but man, I'm traumatized. Hey, shout out to John, Sean Jack for supporting the channel, man. You the new uh, Super Chat sponsor, man. Appreciate you. I got another I got another one here from Lane New. If I can find my mouse, where'd it go? There we go. Hey, he says, uh, this loss is a trademark must team. It's not necessarily all bad of a loss as Hofstra. He always has it going when, it's, when it matters. That's true. It must we trust. It must we trust. Uh, so I, I ain't just completely off the bandwagon. He ain't let us down yet. So I ain't jumping off the bus uh, with Musk, man. I rock with Musk. I just want him to fix the offensive woes uh, of all his teams, man. They all play the same, and they don't really have a a way to get a bucket when they need a bucket. They got to rely on on somebody being a hero. And that ain't how that's not how you win games. So let's see who got else a comment in here. Why does it seem like it takes must half the season to get it going? I think Bunk said it best. Because there's a bunch of immigrants that they never play with each other. Mm-hmm. They don't they, they ain't got no chemistry. Yeah, yeah. J- exactly. Just like Kentucky. They they was running in those top five recruits every year. Eventually, it caught up with them. They couldn't. They can't win no more. They can't win at all. 
because they got five new players every year. They have no chemistry. That's why when you think about when LeBron was in high school, he took a bunch of nobodies to championships because they had been playing together. They know the tendencies. They know exactly what the next person is going to do. So, hey, Bunk said it best, man. That's But thanks for the question, man. We appreciate it. What you think about that, DZ? Man, I love it. I mean, like I said, I think we're going to be the new Kentucky. We're going to be the new Duke. Like, I don't even want to say Duke because at least Duke had the type of coach to where, you know, they can he'll put something together where you're still in a system. We got to get a little bit more offensive system oriented. Defensively, must don't have a system for you every season. I give them that. But we got, like you said, we got to be able to get a bucket. Like, whether that's personnel-wise or scheme-wise, if we can't just do the pick and roll, we need to be like, all right, right now is Brazil time. Let's get it to them. Right now is battle time. Let's get them open. I hate the way the off-ball movement goes with this team. One thing that makes Golden State so great is because it's always screens on the backside getting them shooters open. It's always somebody moving around. Just pay attention to the game. When um, L. Ellis or Javon Marks got the ball, they just forcing. It's literally just a force. It's a pass. Are you going to force? All right, let me pass it so he can force. All right, nah, pass it back so I can force. That's not offensive basketball. You can't do that, especially against good teams. Yeah. Sam Jones says the problem is there are guards, but not a true point guard playing right now. We got to bring blocker along so Ellis can shift to the shooting guard or to the bench. I agree, man, because right now we have nobody that can run the court. We have no Corey Beck. Shout out to Corey Beck. We have no Corey Beck. We have no... uh, we, I'm gonna say JD Note. JD Note get the ball, get the boys running. Uh, we had the guy we had last like last year with the with the Anthony hair. Anthony Black. Anthony yeah. Black. We we got nobody to facilitate the team. Uh, our starting point guard got got four turnovers, no assists, zero assists, bro. Oh. It's crazy, uh, man. And Devo ain't finna pass nobody open. <laughs> Hold up now, Devo had some dimes that in that game. Hey, shout out to Lane he, New, man. Yeah, you're right. He he will, but he not gonna start it. It's more like a somebody was already moving and he gonna hit him. Yeah. Lane New says we're looking at what the NBA Hawks do, especially out of last last year's team. Does Must hold them back offensively? Example: Jordan Walsh. Jordan mm. has Jordan Walsh had has he? I'll be honest with you, I ain't really looked at a lot of NBA ball. But I seen Jordan in the summer league really play some good ball. Uh, And it it is possible what you're saying that his offense is not good enough to showcase the talents of his, of his players. And that's on coaching. I mean, a friend of mine who, who is a, who was a referee uh, in college sent us some some information about Muss's offense and how it actually ranks in in the nation as far as movement of the ball. And we were near the bottom of the spacing of our players. And when he sent me that, I started to really look at that. Uh, and you got to look at it, man. Our players don't move with it. If you look at the game from the night, if you can go back and watch it, Look how the other team was moving. When somebody was was going to the rack, there was somebody spotting up in the corner that he could kick it to. There was either somebody cutting to the rim that he could dump it off to. So they was getting easy threes, easy buckets at the rim. They look so much more better than we did. So much more better. That's crazy. That's wild. And that's real. Let me like, let me jump back we, in my comments here, man. Where was I at? Like, can we just get a pick and roll with your fun and L Ellis? I don't who would stop that? I mean, the problem is boys out there just they just want to shoot, man. Battle just want to shoot. I trust Mus. I think he needs to rotate more. Nolan rotated a lot. You are on fire tonight. You stay in. I agree with that 100 percent man. Nolan would bring five off the bench. Five sit down. He he didn't. That's the one thing I loved about Nolan. 
everybody got a chance to play. There was nobody sitting on the bench. If you was on the team, you was going to play. The last three dudes may not play, but the majority would. Matt says it best. Battle has to stop forcing his, forcing his shot. If it isn't falling, find ways to have impact if he can't hit. 100%. 100%. That's because, well, let me go back and maybe he says, that's because Muss is more worried about that defense. Watch his pressure. That all That's all he talks about, defense, defense. And he need to focus on the offense because the offense that he running is super trash. Like pitiful, man. It's just, it's, it's, like, it's almost like there's no thought to it. It's just like, hey, y'all do what y'all do on offense. But on defense, y'all better run my system. Mm-hmm. Just like last year, poor shooting, no rebounding, no and no chemistry. Why is Debo starting over battle? Debo the leader. He the leader yeah. of this team, man. I'm not mad at that. I ain't either. Because I would honestly battle's a bucket, but battle is not a team player, dog. He's not. He mm -hmm. just shoot and shoot and shoot. He has no regard for his teammates. He won't pass him the ball. And I'm sorry, I, I just don't want to – I don't want that kind of guy on my team that can give me 20, but every time it touches hands, he's shooting. He's jacking. Get your teams, get your teammates involved. Let them eat. Because when everybody eating, everybody happy. But when everybody see you shoot every time you touch and you ain't getting nobody else involved, they be like, man, I ain't passing that fool the ball. He ain't going to give it back. You know, it's, it's, it's egos in basketball, man. Boys feel some type of way when you out there shooting. So, absolutely, Jeff Gordon, Kareem Reed. I, I forgot to mention Kareem Reed. Facilitating. Facilitating. That's Bob Marley, but who is the immigrant from Southern Miss that has the ugly shooting form. We call him Bob Marley. I, can, I don't remember his real name. Uh, uh, Denaje. Yeah, Harris. Yeah, Denaje yeah. Harris. There you go. That's who, yeah, that's he, who, he got a lot of effort. I give yeah. it, give him that, but that's about it, though. <laughs> Ernest Rice says, must recruit as if Arkansas is a G League team. <laughs> hey, we play like it, too. That's a great comment. <laughs> we play like a G League team battling to get on the real team. Man. That was just a bad loss, man. I, I don't know if I can get over that this weekend. It's going to take me a minute. They're going to have to really show me. Yeah. Matt says, I think uh, they had great ball movement against Purdue. I think our guys are just trying to get highlights on these lower teams. And mm -hmm. you, you got to play the same way all the time. Got to. Yeah. it's And it just starts with having that one guy that's going to facilitate, that one guy that's going to not worry about scoring all the time and truly just, you know, I, I really wish Devo can get in that role because I feel like he's the only player on the team who could possibly do it. I mean, not saying as if, like, he's the only one that can pass or anything like that, but we know Tremont Mark's trying to get a bucket. We know Battle trying to get a bucket. We know LL is trying to get a bucket. We know Trevon Brazil trying to get a bucket. Devo going to have to be that guy. or It's a system thing, too, so I don't even want to put it on him like it's his fault, but we need a system. Doug, Doug says, why do we need more coaches than players? And why are we too busy trying to have matching shirts uh, on the coaches than concerning concentrating on matching our players with their game? <laughs> hey, I, I, no, no lies detected, man. We got like 99 coaches over there, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, but them white camos was hard, though. I give them that. <laughs> <laughs> it was the white camo with the it was like white and cream at the same time i was like all right you got some cash coming in hey man Corey, Corey love lace on facebook man he rocking out with us man we thank you for supporting the facebook channel man he says must lack of playing people hurt him tonight mm. i i don't i mean if it, it felt like he played eight or nine guys uh even um even pinion you know white boy rick got in the game so I don't know. I feel like he played he played quite a few cats, man. See what we got here, man. Hey, Lil Joker. Where you uh -oh. been, my guy? <laughs> the battle battling with his shot. Brazil couldn't keep up 
pick and roll defense. Mitchell is, uh oh, let me go, let me find it. Super trash. Super ah! trash. Just got outplayed. Man, no lies detected, man. No lies detected, yeah. man. Shout out to Lil Joker, man. One of our day ones, man. We appreciate you for, for still supporting the channel, bro. All right. Yeah, that bro, Lil Joker be working them hours, man, but he still come in. <laughs> hey, man, William Richards, he's in the building. Hey, he always supports the channel, man. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. He says the chemistry is definitely not there yet, but must will have the fellas ready when it's tournament time. Go Hogs. Hey, mm. man. No lies. No lies. We got, to, we got two supporters on the Super Chat with the same, so I got to put new, two names up here. We William, I want to comment on that. I want to comment on it, William. Help yourself, and man. I, I'm going to fix this. Bet. So I'm going to say this. We, do I believe that Muss will have it time and, I mean, ready in time for the tournament? Yes, I do. I will never, ever get off the Muss bus unless we just have some drastic, crazy stuff go on. But I will say this. If y'all look at the way that our schedule is put together this year, we got a lot of guys on this schedule. And by guys, I mean teams that's going to really push that. So I think we might have a little bit shorter leash this year than we do in the other years. I mean, we got some big names coming up. So if we even want to get a good seed in that tournament, we're going to have to get it together a little quicker than recent years. We don't, we're don't. not going to have the, the pushovers like we usually do. And we see now even the pushovers putting up a fight. So it, it's a lot to that. Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody feel the same way, man. Bottom line is must. We'll have these guys hitting on all cylinders by late January, early February. He always does. Always is fine. Hey, man, I keep saying it, man. Must we trust, man. He ain't let us down yet. But, man, we took a bad L tonight. We took a bad L tonight, fellas. Mm-hmm. I think Mark left. Ugly seed. Yeah, then that's what we mm-hmm. don't want. I, I think uh, Mark left top-notch Houston because that coach didn't want him shooting as much as he does here. Mm, I don't know, man. He he only averaged ten points last year, um, in that in that Houston offense. So, Fish Man, you might be right. You might be on to something right there, Fish Man. <laughs> Let's see what. Let me run through these comments. Y'all talking that stuff tonight, man. I can't say I disagree with nothing I seen. Yeah. Yeah, we did have a horrible night shooting tonight, James. Yeah, it was it was it was bad. Uh, one for sixteen. I thought it was something like one for what was a seventeen percent. Yeah, four for twenty three. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, four for twenty three. It was ugly. It was ugly, James. Seventeen percent. Oh, hey, I, I love this comment right here, man. Too much of a guard oriented team, man. Mm-hmm. I said it. We ain't got no bigs, bro. It's coming back to get you. Bambi legs need to go get in the gym. Bambi legs, we need you immediately. Because, bro, we need somebody big down there. We got to get some bigs, man. Ooh, that- and they just, we don't use our bigs neither. Like, it's not even that we just don't got them. We also not using the ones we got. Well, Vince- Trevon Brazil was on the three-point line the whole first half. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, man, these boys, and they got to go down here next week and play some play some big dogs. So we, we really about to see what these hogs made of. We really about to see. Hey, Vince put, put a name out of his hat, man. Sonny Weems out of West Memphis. What? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Y'all know hey, me. I know you don't know, man. The biggest <laughs> difference, Corey, uh, Corey on, uh, on Facebook, man, says the biggest difference in the game was the numbers you read off from the three. We hit 40%, we win. No lies detected. But when you got cats like Devo going 0 for 4, the times he should have shot the three, when the when your guy goes under the screen, you raise up and you bust. If you miss, I'll live with it. But he he went under the screen and you that's the time you 
you walk right into the three, you got to bust that. At least if I'm coaching, you better shoot or come have a, come 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 sit on the bench. I can't have you out here not shooting the three when you should shoot the three. You take ill-advised threes, but you don't take the three when you should take the three. And I'm like, man, this is terrible. Uh, what's his name? Uh, turnover. The turnover king. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. He had a big on him. All he had to do was jab stepping and go back and just raise up and shoot the three. Instead, he runs to the rim against the big. What is you doing, bro? That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You would never see, I hate to say this dude's name, but you would never see Chris Paul do that. Chris Paul is not going to do that. He's going to just keep backing out, backing out, and then he's going to run real fast at him and pull up on the dime and bust him. That's what you do to a big. You don't try to take him to the rim. <laughs> man, shout out to you, Corey, man. We appreciate you rocking with us, man. I think I got a super chat somewhere. Let me go back. Yeah, I did. DZ, boy, that keep dropping off on me, man. Fish, man, the football team has me so down on Arkansas sports. This one tonight ain't helping my feelings. Bro. I feel you, Fish, man. I feel you, man. But, hey, it's going to get better, bro. It's going to get better. But, hey, like I said, man, I ain't supposed to be on here. I got to get off here because I told my wife, I was going to be done at 10 o'clock, and I'm still down here. I got to go, guys. I got to run. I appreciate all 92 of y'all in here with me right now, rocking out with me. Uh, I really appreciate that. If you ain't did it yet, do, I need you to do us a favor. If you ain't subscribed to the Woo Pig podcast, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Select all so you get notified when we drop another video. Also, do us a favor. If 94 of y'all that's still in here, hit that like button on your way out. It'll help us get to 100 likes. So if you ain't hit the, if you ain't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button on your way out. I'm going to give a shout out to all the people that super chatted us, uh, the super chat sponsors today. Go out to Sean Jack, William Richards. But I'm going to give a shout out to everybody. Lane New, Boss Hall, uh, Buck, Matt. Uh, who else we got? Little Joker. Uh, who else we got here? Fish man, man. Thank y'all for supporting the channel, man. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. 100%. We appreciate it. Uh, DZ, you got anything yes, to say to him? Hey man, like our boy Matt said in the comments, hit that like button to keep OD out the dog house. Make sure, uh, <laughs> lady OD know that he was on here for a good reason, man. But yeah, we definitely, uh, appreciate y'all for rocking out with us, man. We appreciate y'all for overreacting with these hogs with us, man. That's what we do. We fans. That's short for fanatics. So, you know, meet us here, um, you know, every Thursday, every Saturday after the games, after every basketball. I ain't going to say every basketball game, but yeah. especially these crazy ones, man. Yeah, we. Gonna, I mean, we, we'll be doing a lot more basketball content. I can't say we're going to come to do every single game. If they would have won tonight, I probably wouldn't have been on. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, they lost, so I had to come talk about it. Uh, but when we get an SEC play, you can expect to see our face because I'm going to be talking about them hogs. Uh, but yeah, these little sure. cupcake teams that I think we should win, hey, let us know if you want to if you want us to uh, do, you know, do anything with these teams. Hey, man, send us, send us an email. The, the, the information is in the description, and we'll see what we can do, man. Hey, salute out to Mrs. OD for the podcast. I'm going to have to show her that, man. <laughs> She's supporting me, man. She mad. I know she mad. I got to get up out of here. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, don't forget, if you need some help with some electrical needs, man, in Northwest Arkansas, man, reach out to our sponsors, 3M Electric. They are your source for all things electrical, man. Uh, no job too big or small. Uh, they are SDVOSB. They are dependable, reliable. Give them a call, 479-408-9865. Let them know the guys on the Woo Pig podcast sent you. And with that being said, guys, in in uh in, in memory of my boy Joe, uh G Holmes. Oh my God! And we out. Yeah, it's the 501 baby. Uh huh. You know how we get down on the Woo Pig podcast. Woo. Shout out OD. Shout out G Holmes. It's the baby. Big sexy. Enjoy. Woo yeah. yeah. Woo yeah. yeah.
Hey, shout out to William Rich for that last super track. I agree with bad little brother, man. <laughs> hey, I had to come back and say that, man. Thank you for that last super chat, William, man. Salute to y'all. We out. <laughs>